Um, but he says, I strongly feel that we alone have to determine whether, when, or how to weigh in on an issue, whether it's private or public. Of course, with the standard that when we take a position on those matters, there's a true reason why we have, and in almost all cases, it has to be because it directly affects our business or our people. So again, he's just kind of uh, saying the same thing over and over again here a couple of times. He then says, and I think if you look back for decades, corporate America has expressed themselves on numerous issues of both right and wrong. And our country, I think, is better off for that. And this was evident during the civil rights era, as I recall as a child, when a lot of companies weighed in on injustices that they saw in America. Uh, and he says, it was certainly true during World War II when those that stood in silence, in some ways, still weigh, still carry the stain of indifference. So he's clearly talking about the Holocaust there. Uh, I don't think that there's any other explanation for that. And then he's talking, obviously, but about the civil rights era, and he's comparing that to the company's position against the bill in Florida. Like, are you serious? What a sicko. Uh, it's amazing to, you know, you know when they scream Nazi at everything? You know that? Yeah. It's yeah. finally come full circle. They scream Holocaust yep. at everything now. Yeah. So I just want to, it's a social, yes, just because people have different opinions doesn't mean that those opinions, there's a, there's a, like those opinions still have a moral weight to them. Like you can still have immoral opinions and moral opinions. Just like, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like there is no such thing as uh, what, what's the philosophical term that you're trying to bring about here. Uh, I think it's called relativism. That, that doesn't exist. That is a fallacy. It's not real. Uh, it's, it's, it's just not true. And you can figure that out using uh, your reason to do that. Um, obviously, you can be um, you can you can delude yourself into thinking that it's real. And there's other people that will try and make persuasive arguments to make you think that it's real. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it is real. Uh, relativism is a stain uh, on our society. Uh, you can see that you see its effects uh, a lot, everywhere you turn. It's 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 horrible. Uh, just look at the Walt Disney Company. We're looking at it right now. Clear uh, evidence of uh, relativism and this gray area idea. Uh, so then he says, so as long as I'm in the job, I'm going I'm going to continue to be guided by a sense of decency and respect and trust our instincts that when we do weigh in, we, we weigh in because the issue is truly relevant to our business and to the people that work for us. I just want to remind you, I think I, I, don't, I think if I, I include it here, Bob Iger is the one who was pushing Bob Chapek and the Walt Disney Company to oppose the bill in Florida. He thinks that he's using his decency and respect. No, that is the opposite. He wasn't respecting anyone. He's disrespecting the shareholders. He's disrespecting these children. It's not being decent at all. He's being indecent. Everything he says here is an absolute lie when it comes to what the company did under his uh, persuasion, I, I know he wasn't the CEO at the time. It was Bob Chapik, but he was clearly still there at the company, uh, involved in, in the company when this was going on. He posted on Twitter. I think if we scroll down here, you can see his tweet. I think it's right here. Oh, man. I think Crate Diggs is the same guy, so we're going to block him too because he's just trying to evade. Uh, but uh, we got Robert Iger here saying, I'm with the president on this. If passed, this bill will put vulnerable young LGBTQ people in, in jeopardy. This is February 24. He's talking about the bill. This is Bob Iger weighing in. This is the guy who's telling you now decency and respect are what is going to uh, these values that he says he has or are what is going to um, uh, dictate whether or not he weighs in on a certain uh, political... Uh, debate that might be happening within the state of Florida at the national level or any other state that he's getting involved in. Remember, uh, Bob Iger was also behind the company uh, opposing legislation in Georgia, trying to um, opposing a uh, heartbeat bill, uh, which would res severely restrict uh, the number of murders being committed on um, uh, small children. So this guy is a complete and utter fraud. He is a liar. Uh, there's nothing decent, decent or uh, out of respect uh, that he's shown here with this or with other uh, political actions that he has maneuvered the company to take. Yeah, yeah there, is no is right. gray area. there is no gray area. It's, 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 it's all a bunch of lies. This gray area is him just trying to obfuscate. They're like, oh, well, we, I don't know if it could really be right or wrong. No, it's wrong. It's, it's very clear that it's wrong. Again, anyone 
with a uh, <laughs> a working conscience uh, realizes that. 